Well, good morning, y'all. Well, I'm out bright and early heading out to the shoe swap. Got to put the new leg in and test. <laughs> I hope I don't break it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I include you on a ton of different adventures, all while doing it with my family. While while we are laughing. All while doing it, one leg at a time. Winter's really kind of held off this year, so I think I'm going to get another day of working on the Heritage Cabin. Not that big of a crew today. Jeff and the boys are at home. Um, they needed family days, so they're doing that. And um, I'm heading out here by myself. Scotty and Willie are out there waiting for me, and we'll be starting. Can't really get a whole lot done because we're we're kind of running low of wood. We can get the front end, um, all the all the stringers all done, but um, we're going to be running out of wood and running out of blocks. So this probably be the last day before winter. I know I keep saying that, but turn up the heat a little bit. It's just sprinkling down snow, just just a hair here in Camelot, so I hope it's not snow and dumping out there. It's, it's definitely a snow belt out there. And it's been a weird year, so I'm expecting at any time to be either dump or freezing cold. Uh, Scott's wife Susan's made some nice stew for lunch, so that would be just amazing. Like, they spoil us so much when we come out there to help out. So we'll get on this trip and I'll update you as we go. Hopefully nothing falls off Shrek this time and and I don't make Darcy pee, but you know, I'm not traveling with Jeff this time, so I should be fine. We'll see you as we get there. Here's an update. I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera, but it's snowing pretty good here. I'm almost in Chase, BC, and it's snowing pretty good. Um, just called Scotty, and he says, he laughed, and he says, Oh, it's plus 14 here and sunny. So I was like, uh, Should I come? Like, And he says, No, it's still nice there. So I'm going to try to get one more day in on this project and see if we can. Um, I gotta change lights here. So if we can get some more progress done before winter, I think this definitely will be the last day. I think that's the third time I've said that. We'll see. Anyways, I'll update you as we go. I'll update you when I get there. I'll see how much snow is there. And maybe we'll be snow shoveling to put the Joyce's in. Never a dull moment in Andrew's world. So I thought I'd change the view a little bit. This is coming down into Talana Bay. Um, you'll see the fire came down the mountain here on the on my side of the truck here and pretty much wiped out a lot of Talana Bay, which is really, really sad. This bridge here I'm going over was managed to be saved, but they do have a bypass on the side there just in case it didn't. On the side here with the yellow caution tape on the camera over, that's where their, even their sign was burnt up. You can just see, it just came down like like I've said in other videos, I'm not sure the, the release of videos, but just see like on the side there how much those houses are just torched. Just completely gone. And the sad thing is because of this mountain, a lot of these people won't be able to rebuild. A lot of stuff was grandfathered in, so they might be able to have a pad for a trailer and maybe a septic holding tank, but they may not be allowed to have a place again. There's talk about this mountain not being stable in winter too from like landslides and everything else because all the, the tree, the infrastructure has been burnt. 
this section here we're about to come up to here is um, I call it the bird houses again it's a it's a word my parents used to use but they're just perched on the side of the mountain here and they've all been completely wiped out unfortunately just just devastated just came through and all there's left is foundation now keep in mind that this area it's like I, I'm amazed how much it's cleaned up already like by spring, they'll be rebuilding, which is just shocking how fast things move. But in a way, I, you know, like, I guess the old saying, life's got to continue on, and, and that's, that's what it's doing out here. We're not quite at the birdhouses, we're almost there. So this is the start of the birdhouses. Now the birdhouses, you can see on this side here, I'll turn the camera, a lot of them have been cleaned up now, but they won't be able to be rebuilt. They're just, they're hanging on the side of the mountain here, and there's talk, talk about what the sept, their septic dumps straight into the lake super deep, so they'll have to put a septic system in and everything. It's crazy how much this has been cleaned up already assessed and cleaned up like just on, on this side there's the chimney sitting just sitting there but then there's houses like this one here that's not even not even touched it's it's weird how mother nature works see that's the start of the birdhouse and then after that you can see it's just devastation it doesn't look like the birdhouses have been cleaned up much. I mean, it's pretty tough to get excavators up there. I mean, Jeff would be the expert to get up there, but holy jeez, you'd be hanging on the side of the mountain in a lot of these places. And that's pretty much the end of the fire here. Now, my friend Sue, Scott's wife, um, she was saying that they fought so hard to keep this school. They had so many fire trucks. She works for the fire department. And she said they had so many fire trucks on this trying to keep the school here because they knew if the school left, if it burned down, they wouldn't rebuild it, the, the government. And that would be really hard on the community. And so they fought so hard to keep it. says oh you you know you, you win the lottery you do this you know honestly I, if I win the lottery I'd buy one of these old cabins out here and, and just you know fix it up and that would be my heaven it doesn't have to be lakefront and of course lakefront's better Kenzie loves swimming I can sit on the deck and watch her but Unfortunately, I don't think it would ever happen again because the price of properties out here has just gone through the moon. So I'm going to turn the camera here. This is um, just coming around into Twin Cedars here. They've got the gate open and it doesn't look like anybody's there. So, Oh, it's sold. Order call has sold. So this here is Twin Cedars. And there's the heritage cabin on the right here, the Keyes family property. And that's our old cabin there on the left. And this is coming around to the lake here. Hopefully 
I get time to send Rudy up and get some shots here. And there's the heritage cabin. And there's where we stopped. Oh. Good, good morning everybody y'all we're out here at the heritage cabin here in beautiful twin cedars in magna bay there's the lakefront there oh it's hard to believe i was showing it on the camera but it was dumping snow right outside of chase there so scotty's just walking bandit here his big his dog aka a wolf or a bear so that's as far as we've got to start off with today so you can see that um, got about halfway through the chimney here. Willie started cribbing in front of the door, getting it nice and tight, and we're going to keep going. Unfortunately, I don't have Jeff's boys here today. You can see the wall that they had to they have to finish off. They're about 32 blocks short, I figure, and all that gravel there in the corner have to be filled in and then filled along the edge here. Now this b big black pipe here, that's for flooding in the spring, so. It attaches to the clamp over here and pumps it right back out and there's the gutter of course and there's what you guys will be filming on today there's the tripod set up um, this is the neighbor's property Mike and Cindy Hildebrandt so I'm just using their deck to put the the camera on the tripod on and get some shots from today so there's the big tree that we've kind of been fighting with with all the roots. This is going to be a tough one because of all the gravel. Jeff, I wish you were here. I wish the boys were here. You can see between the place there. So I'm going to send Rudy up before everybody comes over. So I'm available to help. So that's the start of the Heritage Cabin project today. Day five, I guess. Day five. Well, hey there guys, um, I'm thinking it's probably about noon almost. Um, the weather's actually held off okay. It's, it's a little chilly, but nothing crazy. Um, as you can see, we got Scotty and Willie, and you can see, let me just flip it around here. That's better. Sorry, you can see that we've continued to move the voices over. We had some problems with that pipe this morning, that um, septic, or the, sorry, sump pump pipe we had to go back underneath and pull it forward always fun going in the crawl space there's Willie screwing the hangers on and there's Scotty over there thinking about numbers imagining things I don't know looking for beer we don't have beer but the weather's held out it's a t it's it feels like October almost you know but it's almost the end of November and you can see how far we've got so I'll continue updating as we go. Okay, let's go. Well, hey guys, we're at the end of the day here. It's getting cool out here in the shoe swap. Um, kind of ran into a little bit of a roadblock here with the step. So let me just flip the camera around and I'll walk you guys through what we're talking about here. Okay, so here's our issue. The deck, and you can kind of see that lip of the concrete, is going to have a step up. Now, I was thinking in my head I was going to have the step right in front of the window, which doesn't make any sense because, again, you're going to walk and then you lean into a window and you smash through it. So 
Scotty came up with this idea to have it step over here. Which now makes complete sense, but now we're looking at digging in down another seven and a half, eight inches to make sure you got air under this section. The other issue is the concrete here. You can see it kind of steps down, it steps into the door, steps down there, Scotty walking by. Steps down, steps down again, and we're thinking we need to make the deck level with that piece of concrete. So, I don't know, never a dull moment here in the shoe swap. Um, I still feel like overall the day was very, very successful. You can see lots of stringers went in, and I'll take over to our pile there. There's not much wood left there. We kind of used it all up. So, this will be the last day before spring, I think, unless something magically happens. So we're just cleaning up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.